I don't believe there is any other fish that has such a diverse opinion among Aquarius who keep African cichlids than yellow labs. Many hobbyists adore their pleasant coloration, mild temperament, hardiness, and proficiency to propagate, but seemingly just as many despise yellow labs because they are so common in the hobby. I must confess, I fall into the first group. Yellow labs were one of the first African cichlid species I ever kept, and I always have them in my collection. It all began around 1995, when I first acquired eight one and a half inch F1 juveniles. The yellow labs seen in this video are descendants from that group of fish. I never polluted the bloodline with any other specimens. I cannot honestly state how many generations removed these fish are from the originals, but suffice it to say, many, many. In a way, I understand many African cichlid keepers dislike for yellow labs. Because of their popularity and the ease at which they breed, many of the strains available for sale in retail stores are of poor quality. Many fish sold as yellow labs are hybrids or fish that are spawn of a yellow lab and some other embona. If and when you get the opportunity to see quality yellow labs in person, you can immediately see the deterioration of many of the current species for sale. This strain of yellow labs continues to produce vibrant colored offspring some 20 years later. I keep the oldest mature breeding adults outside. If you have viewed my dirted plant tank video, these are the fry that were included at the inception of that aquarium. A few things to look for if you are planning to begin keeping yellow labs. Quality yellow labs, especially young specimens, should show consistent yellow coloration from tail to head with no blotchiness, particularly around the head. Some may have a tint of pale blue on their scales under certain lighting conditions, and some strains show a whitish tinge around the belly area. A bold black stripe on the dorsal fin of both sexes will be evidence of a fairly good quality strain. The lack of a stripe, or a faded or partial dorsal stripe, is a good indicator that something is not right with the fish. If you see specimens with many egg spots on their anal fin, be wary. A single egg spot is fairly rare, but does occur on occasion. Males should show black coloration on both their anal and ventral fins, and many will have a black stripe through their eyes. The females lack the stripe through the eye and the black in the lower fins. The female's anal and ventral fins are normally milky white to nearly clear. In mature fish, the male is noticeably larger than the female. This side by side is a good example of the differences between the sexes. The male on the right, the female on the left. Notice the bright coloration and the sharp clean edge of the stripe on the dorsal fin. Recently, I suffered a loss of a pair of dojo loaches that lived together in this aquarium for seven years. After the loss, I removed a few of the remaining fish and added them to a different aquarium. After a quick rearrangement of the aquascape, a breeding group, one male, four females, of yellow labs was added to the empty aquarium. Having always lived outside and only viewed from above, it took a couple of weeks for them to adjust to being in a situation of being approached laterally and are still skittish when they view something moving near them 